This is the master of the time nest. She's the supreme Kai of time, and a very important person. She manages the flow of time throughout the entire universe, keeping a close eye on history and protecting it. Me personally, I wouldn't take this level of disrespect. The Lord of Time, the Supreme Kai of Time, the bitch with the long ass names that don't fit in my title, or just Cronoa. Her names be long as hell like that long ass forehead. Let's do it. The Supreme Kai of Time, one of the most finest non-canon baddies of all of anime. And seriously, she should not necessarily be canon, because if I gotta go through one more time patrolling shit with annoying ass trunks, I'm about to go ahead and kill somebody. Cronoa is also pink as shit, right? Wait. Petite, cute as hell, and short as shit? <gasps> She's a lolly! Let's get it! And she also has another form that makes her look older too. She is a double stack. Call up Wendy's because I'm about to go ahead and get a Baconator, which honestly, a Baconator sounds actually really good right now. Eating a Baconator off her supreme ass would be heavenly. I don't necessarily think anybody has been more disrespected than Cronoa. Whether it's the fact that she can't cook like dead ass. If I was going to be sexist, honestly, to Cronoa, I would be like, no, stay your ass away from the kitchen. I don't want you going in there. You're about to kill me and become the new god of destruction. And I have absolutely no type of time with that. Which, how is your name Cronoa and it runs close to Canola and your ass can't cook. That's crazy to me. Hell, we can tell that she's raggedy by the house that she lives in. Look like the average black American household. Don't get mad at me because I said that. You know it's true. Look at them poor in neighborhoods with all that junk in the back of their yard or just in their yard. Clean that shit, bro. Also, her sense of hierarchy is just bonkers. Take note. Whipped ass Xeno Trunks. Man is literally whipped into some coochie he's never going to get, considering the fact that he's always been loyal to Supreme Kai of Time, which that's a real one. Honestly, if you was trying to get with Trunks, you'll be having a real man by your side. But when it comes down to things, she ain't never going to give it up. If anything, she simps for a whole nother alien ass dude of Bardock. So it's like you're not going to get that, Trunks. Stop trying. Let her figure some shit out. She needs to. She ain't that great. She needs to realize that. Which, now that I think about it, how is she staying looking this young? Like, obviously, when she transforms, she looks older. So what? Does time be a part of this, too? I know she controls time and erase time, too, when it comes to certain elements of her powers. But how does she necessarily do it? Does she just let her body grow naturally for a couple of years? Or maybe... She erases the time back and then just kind of do it again and just kind of bring herself back to normalcy and that's why she always have her short form. Wait a minute, so technically, if she's over 75 million years old at this point, does that mean that she also uses that in her base form too? Considering the fact that I guess that means there's other old Kai's too. So if I'm being absolutely correct here, does that mean that Kurnoa is old as shit? when it comes to her actual body. Does that mean that her coochie is literally wrinkly as shit and looks terrible, but she can erase the time down there and then just be tight and fresh? That is actually insane. But regardless of how you feel, I just personally think that Supreme Kai of Time is absolutely fine, right? And if I was to do so as a time patroller, respectfully, I will be getting some of that coochie. No cap. I ain't gonna get whipped like Xeno Trunks. Maybe that's the reason why Xeno Trunks even exist. Maybe Kurnoa was so pissed off at freaking Mai coming through, trying to take Trunks away, even though he was fine as hell. She must have wanted some of him. So basically what happened was, basically take Trunks, make him a demon world whipping boy, and essentially give him the status of making him her assistant, so that way him and Mai would never meet. I would be surprised if she's a Yandere low key. Probably erased that whole timeline where Trunks came from, just for the off chance if Mai ever came through. Like, damn, Cronoa. Like, if he's not gonna get killed on a mission that you sent him on, then your cooking will definitely will. 